Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Daryl Akins of Anglers All, down in the fly tying studio, and today we are tying the Flashback Bars Emerge. I'm gonna start with my hook half cocked, pointed down, and that way it's already in position for the tail. I'm gonna use some Nano Silk 18 denier, or 30 denier 18 knot, and this will give us a nice, strong, svelte thread to keep things in check. Let's get a tail tied in here. This is a pretty flexible situation. Any kind of rooster hackle or stiffer fiber for your tailing fiber is gonna work. We don't have to do any kind of measuring. This will be a trimmed tail situation. So we're just looking to kind of get in there and get captured. I'll take the butts off to make it a little cleaner in my tie-in. And I am definitely gonna do a little pinch wrap there. A couple wraps down to make sure that we are going down the hook bend, and then we'll come up just to the hook point and trim these at an angle for our taper. Bang. All right, so. The width of the hook gap is really where you want to trim your tail. And that'll give you your, your gauge, your distance the length of your tail come back up and I want to stay just downstream I'm going to use that we're going to see downstream of my tie-in point where my dubbing is going to start and I can wrap back and then into it versus building up right on top of it that way I can kind of control my taper going into that dubbing starting out we're going to use the olive first I do like the nature spirit hairs mask it's not too guard hairy and just a really soft dubbing it ropes really really nice it's got a little bit of a shimmer uh, and big fan on the emergers for this so i just did what i told you not to do here we go leave a little bit of space under that dubbing loop so when you start you get right where you want to go after a few wraps and then come into the body with that dubbing wrap and then we can just finish our taper just shy of where we will start our flash and wing back all right and i like a very svelte Underdressed body, it doesn't have to be super plump necessarily. Again, I'm a very silhouette driven kind of guy when it comes to these kind of bugs. When the fish is looking up, these bugs are relatively small and skinny. So that's about as plump as I'm gonna get with that. And I'm gonna pull the rest of that off. Now see those guard hairs? I don't want too much of that, so I'll allow some of it, but I'm gonna control most of it so we don't get too crazy. We're gonna try and stay as true to, to John's pattern as we can here. All right. And what I have here is the herring back crystal flash. And it is specifically the herring back that I like because it's got a couple of colors in it that I like. It's got a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, and it's not overtly one or the other. And I like the fact that it's got a little bit of something else in it and it's not just one. So I'm a big fan of that previous wing that we trimmed up we're going to put right back in we are 100 percent in control of the situation as a tire so unless you've slathered it down with a bunch of glue we can just back it off and we can do our thing it's, it's kind of nice so you notice that crystal flash a little longer than the feathers it's going to serve us well when it comes time to organize these and bring them forward so that works out. I like the way that looks. I'm always measuring to make sure that I see how much wing back we have. If I feel that the, the thorax isn't going to be enough, you can always go back and make sure you have enough for your thorax. It's a great way to kind of look to make sure you have enough to justify tying that material in. Rinse and repeat, but just with the gray. I really prefer easing in to my silhouette versus having more than on. If you ever, I mean, if you see my hipster doofus video, I'll have Larkin put that up there right there. You can just click on that when you're done with this. Uh, I have a hipster doofus video out there that goes over that precisely. I, where I like to ease into my silhouette, ease into my proportion versus just kind of coming right at it. Uh, again, it's a, it's, it's a control aspect, but it puts you in, in a very strong position on controlling how your fly is going to look before the next step progresses.
pull our wing forward. And again, we've got room for everything up here. Hook eye is still fully visible. That's what we want. You can go ahead and split that wood duck, put one to the side, one to the other side, and go ahead and capture those, keep them in place. Now, we'll do the same thing with our flash. And this flash doesn't have to be super in your face because it's, it's really just the bubble back kind of merger phase that's kind of shining through the light. So all it needs to do is just shimmer. So now that we have two pieces of flash mimicking with our wings, these other two, we're going to get out of there. And I'm going to lean my fly back so gravity works with me versus against me. And we're going to go ahead and put a couple of whips in on there. And before I take my thread off, I'm going to do all my, my necessaries. That way, if I have to go back in and clean or rescue, I'm already attached and ready to go. I'm a big fan of the cottery iron. You know, it's like when you really want to clean things up and burn your thread off the, the bobbin or off the, the, the fly, the cottery iron's a great way to do it. But outside of that, man, you can really clean up a great fly with this bad boy. There we go. All right, we're nice and clean up there. And you can see now, we're threading now. We don't have hair and fur all over there. We could use our scissors, but that's way cleaner. So you can see that we've got our wings lined up and we're looking to trim now. You want to trim just past the thorax there. So we're going to pull everything back together and come in just behind that thorax and trim a little on the long side by a few mil. Then come in and fine tune it. Way easier to fine tune it than just to get it on the first shot. And then just in case that first whip wasn't enough, here's our backup whip. And just a couple of trims here and there. If you want to hit this with a little Velcro brush and rough it up, go at it. But that right there is the Bars Emerger flashbacks version. We've got these in the bins at the moment, and we've got these uh, materials to come in and tie them up. So you can come in and tie them up and buy them up. Uh, bars Emerger here. Best fished, I would imagine, your 18s to 22s or whatever size uh, your local hatch has given you. So come on in and see us.